Okay, now we're going to put the nostrils in. I used a little bit of a round um, gouge. This is a micro tool. It's a G4. So the thing we're going to do is we're just going to go around here and start on the bottom portion of the nose first. And just kind of push it in there kind of deep and go from the top just like so. Of course we're going to make this much deeper. We now have the outline done. Alright. Same thing over here. And you want to be careful when you do this because when you turn it you might end up taking stuff out you don't want to. Okay, let me go to a smaller one now. We have the outside done. And I'm going to just take it back here for a second so I can see it a little bit better. And all I did was I took it and I'm digging down pretty deep in it. Um, it's not a perfect circle. It's more of a an oval shape and then going down really deep with a smaller one. You know, the deeper you do it, I think the nicer, the better it will look. Okay, so let's see how we can see that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, their noses for real are really big, um, and that's how they control the bulls a lot of times. They uh, grab them by the nose and they put the ring right through the nose. Um, there's a little bone cartilage in the center. We've never had to do that. We only raised them to, oh, maybe 500 pounds in that, but um, the cows, you don't need to do that either. But All right, so that's the way that looks. The other thing we're also going to do, let me take it back here and just clean it up a little bit so we can just see where the hole is. We're going to just take our knife and we're going to um, scoop it out a little bit more and clean it up. I see the difference in the size of the nose. Okay, it's really big. And the same thing here, you're just going to kind of scoop it out a little bit around it have that sticking up just a tad you can use one of these and go around in the back here I would just do it in the back section for now all right that's pretty well all I, I would do to it right now you can go around to the front and just have that that nostril sticking out just a little higher than what the rest of it is. I'm going to do that offline so I don't ruin anything. It's very, very hard for me to see it so far away. Alright. So that's the nostril. And of course we're rounding off the the face a little bit. And their eyes kind of stick out a little bit so what we're going to do up here we're going to just take this down just a tad and over here just a little bit before we put the eyes in okay right right below the ear there all right uh, sticking out just a tad there I'm going to kind of blend that in. See how we have that just a little bit of a curvature there. And we'll do that right underneath the ear there a little bit. Okay. Alright. 
So let me see where I'm going to put this, these eyes here. I'll be right back. The cow's eyes are really big. They're not tiny. So we're going to go across this way and then we're going to kind of bring it down a little bit further and then we're going to do a half like a half eyeball just like so we want it much bigger than what the um, so where I dug it down is where I'm going to put that line out a little further. It's so hard to match these things up. I understand that. Okay, theirs was a little bit smaller. Okay. Same idea, but it's going to look a little different. And the top of the head is going to be a little bit different. We're going to put a little bit of a hair there. And um, one thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this down like so. We're going to just bring it up to that to that spot okay I do the same thing over here and we're going to bring that right up that's going to be top of the eyelid there okay all right now we're going to put the eye in what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow that line out we're going to reattach that a little bit I want it nice and big okay because we're going to lose some of it anyway uh, with doing the circle. All right. So let me do this back here and I'll show you exactly what I've done um, with it. Uh, I'm just doing a stop cut. Nice big stop cut. Okay. Did a stop cut all the way around that, that circle there. And then I'm going to come in from the inside and round that off. Just like so. Alright, and there's the one eye. Okay, and I'll do the other eye offline. Um, with this, I did go in a little bit like this, put a little V cut in. Just make sure that I uh, that eyebrow comes out a bit further. Yeah. You can see a little bit better. They come up like so, and we're, and there's the eye. Okay. I know they, they look pretty similar, but they are very different. Okay. This one has more of a rounded head. This has more of a flat head. A much broader. Uh, uh, nose and mouth, bigger holes for the nose and of course we're going to have to put the other portion underneath but, but you want to just make sure you get that eyelid in there right first and then do your eye underneath it. Okay that looks pretty good folks. I will do the other side and then we're going to start on the body.